I modded Stardew Valley so that I just have one single energy. That means no watering rows of crops, destroying rocks in the mines, nothing. Each day limited to just one single action. Is it even possible to complete the community center that way? Well, today, I intend to find out. My goal is to now complete the community center, and I guess we'll just see how that goes. My guess is not well. What do the star drops do? I guess you'll just have to watch through a whole video because there'll be surprises throughout, and I immediately forgot that I had one energy. All right, now let's just start it up tomorrow. Today is kind of a wash. I immediately forgot. Uh, happens, 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 happens. Since we only have one single energy, what we're gonna have to realize is that we have to do things that don't require energy at all. First one being scything. So we, that's easy fiber. Look, we got some mixed seeds. Now, I chose the forest farm because I think forage is gonna be really important on this run because forage is another thing we can do that doesn't cost any energy at all. But you know what? I'll plant a single parsnip right here. I guess I could probably plant one more before I pass out. And then what I'm gonna do is pass out and go to sleep until Friday or Saturday. And then on Saturday, I can go look for forage because I need money because money makes the world go around my friends and forage on the farm spawns at the end of the season and we can also go ahead and get the uh, community center cutscene today now what I didn't think about is the fact that I am not gonna be able to make a chest probably should have given myself a chest now that I think about it but it's okay we will recover maybe that should be our first goal to try and buy a chest all right so my goal is to try and get enough money to buy a coop because if I get a coop then I can get a chicken right if I get a chicken then I can just keep that boy happy and that doesn't require any energy at all. Then I could get another chicken. Then we're god dang golden. And I don't really think I need that wood in my inventory, though I did mess up my entire day one over that, because I want to pick up these spring onions. Now, I probably should have woken up on day five to get the community center cutscene, but whatever. Now, if we get enough forage, we should be able to start buying stuff, which will be really nice. Do you eat? Do you get more energy? No. Even if it does, I don't want to eat. What's up, Alex? Eat my butt. Say yo. Tea sapling strat could be legitimate. Wait, but what do you need for tea saplings again? Do you just need fiber and spring forage seeds? Pretty sure you need wood as well. If you need wood, that's no longer a possibility. So I think what I'm going to do today is try and cut down a tree. Eight, nine. No, we're one hit away. Oh, we got level one foraging. Nice. We only really need to go out on Saturdays to pick up forage. So we can just exhaust ourselves whacking trees until then. Is this going to have one hit left or we're going to have to hit it? Okay, perfect. Four, five, six. This should be my last hit. Oh, wait, there's wood here. It'll probably be here tomorrow. Okay, I'm just gonna go to bed here so that I don't have to walk all the way back. Okay, is that wood still on the ground? No. All right. Important lesson learned. <laughs> Let's go to the wizard. I'm gonna sell these parsnip seeds. Definitely don't need them. I'll sell these spring seeds. Actually, there's no point in going to the wizard today. I should just do it on a Saturday. Brilliant thinking, Sean. See, we have a good start so far. We already have 830. And a coop costs 4,000 plus the cost of the wood and the stone, which is another 3,000. So 7,000 total. Go get the backpack upgrade. All right, I'm gonna kill you guys. No more fun. I don't think we're gonna be able to get this today. Oh, we did, but it took our last hit. Wait, no, so the wood despawns. Oh no. We just wasted a full day, right? It's gone. Oh my God, that was so stupid. Seven, eight, nine. We can hit it with one hit tomorrow and we'll be good. And no forge today, I just realized because it's the festival. Wait, which tree was I hitting again? Oh yeah, I think it was this one. Yeah, there we go. Should we go to the festival? Finally, we can make a chest. One single chest. And we don't need any of this crap. I'm just gonna pass out today because I don't have any energy. Oh, I forgot about the egg festival. I forgot, chat. Oh crap. I will say the hardest part of this is going to be by far and away the fishing. The fishing is going to be the most annoying part. I didn't even think about that, but we'll get it done. It's Saturday, so it's time for some forging. And I do have to hit the wizard. Thank you, everybody, for reminding me. But yeah, we can make this all into spring seeds, which is nice, too. And then we'll get the 30 buff from uh, the community center, which is nice as well. Wait, do tea saplings persist throughout every season, chat? Are they like forever crops, basically? I know that the strat is just to sell them, but I don't want to do that. They grow forever. That seems pretty good, actually. I could just fill my entire farm with tea saplings. Ooh, should we give it to Caroline? Wait, I feel like I should give her a dandelion. Wait, is she gonna like this? I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, that was a waste. <laughs> All right. Well, probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Actually, I'm not gonna do tea saplings. That takes way too long. I'd just rather do animals. Then I get free farming XP, and then I can get like sprinklers and crud. We were hoping to get some leeks because that's kind of the holdup. No leeks. All right. I'm also gonna take the time to pick up all the forage on my farm today because I don't feel like coming out tomorrow. But you're gonna miss one day of forage. Forage on these. Nice, the leaks are very much appreciated because I didn't realize how rare leaks were, apparently. Don't we need morals for a sun bundle, right? So pog. Also, dang, my parsnips didn't grow. I thought they were gonna grow. How do we have like eight of everything in three leaks? So once we get this good amount of money, I'm gonna turn everything into spring seeds to see how much money we actually have made so far. 
<gasps> oh my god! That is so lucky. Holy freaking crap. Nice. Jesus, that is lucky. Okay, I can't pick up any of these, which is awesome. Thank you, spring onions. What I will do though is this, and then just pick up all these raw ones, because that'll be better than just selling two silver. All right, now let's see how many spring seeds we can make. This will directly impact my decision to make tea saplings or not. Look at all this other forage we have. We have 90 spring seeds. Spring seeds sell for 35G. We're almost at the coop after a month of foraging. Ugh, tea saplings. Fine, I'll do tea saplings. Chat. Fine, you win. I guess I should just go give her a gold star daffodil now then. It's just gonna take long for us to wait for every day, but I guess we could just do it on our daily forage day. I don't care about this. Where is Caroline right now? Is she oot in a boot? Oh yeah, she's over there. Here we go. Back we go. Nice forging level two. Easy dub. All right, let's go give Caroline a gift. All right, what time does Caroline open? In the meantime, I'll open up the trash cans. Ooh, cookies pog. Um, ooh, what the heck? Cranberry sauce. Does Caroline wake up at nine? Also, does Caroline like cranberry sauce? She likes it. Okay, I could give that. And then we'll give her another gift on Saturday. Winter seven is her birthday. Should I just wait until winter to start gifting her? Honestly, probably. I'm not doing tea saplings. Screw tea saplings. I'm not doing it. I don't care. I'm gone. See ya. Bye, tea saplings. No need, my friends. I'm about to get a coop. That was actually terrible. All right, how much we get? 5K. That's pretty good. Don't you get the recipe for summer foraging seeds at farming level three, right? Am I crazy for that? Animal route is boring, though. What's boring about animals? Tea saplings are boring to me. They're using like every challenge run. Everyone uses tea saplings. That sounds boring to me. It's not my fault that Caroline was closed, okay? I gave it my all. I was out there with daffodil and, and cranberry sauce, might I remind you. Doing the same thing every time is boring too. Explain the clay farming and all of your videos. All right, I'm not reading chat anymore. Nope, you've lost your privileges. I'm not doing that anymore. We need 300 wood and we need 100 stone. So we are basically at ground zero. We need 4,000 G, which is fine. Not the end of the world, but slightly annoying. Now my hope is to try and build this coop sooner rather than later, because I kind of need the income to start coming in soon because you have to buy a lot of wood and stone for this run and I kind of want to get that done now rather than later. Caroline is in need of a grape. Fine, Caroline, fine. If you're gonna just beg me if you're getting on your knees, then yes, fine, I'll get you a grape. Absolutely shameless. She has the audacity to not be at her shop when I want her to be. I have the audacity to sell all of my tea saplings and now she comes crawling back. Oh, Shawnee, get me a grape. You disgust me, Caroline. Where the hell are grapes, guys? I don't even remember. Don't they spawn on these bushes or something? Hello, grapes, where are you at? It's cause tomorrow's grape day. What the hell you mean grape day? Am I crazy? Is that a thing that I just don't know about? Grape day? Are you guys joking? I think I'm trapped here. I gotta go all the way around. Cause some stupid twig spot. This one stupid twig. Sure, why not? Imagine not knowing summer seven is grape day. What the? What are you guys talking about grape day? I don't know what that is. Is it like salmonberry day? I don't know. I'm so confused. I'm gonna check over here to see if there's a grape I can give Caroline. I guess I just gotta wait for grape day tomorrow. I mean, pissed if there's no grape day. We got tappers. Level three foraging, easy. I have 1700 hours in this game, but I'm believing my chat that there's an existence of a thing called grape day. I'm not feeling great on it. <laughs> okay guys, no grapes. The grape day is horrible. People made a mistake, it's the 17th. <laughs> They forgot the one. Oh, that must be it. Now I see why there's no grapes. That makes sense. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got it, chat. Oh, wait. How much does a chicken cost? That costs 500G too, right? That's an additional expense that we're gonna have to pay. I didn't even think of that. Okay, today's the last day. Oh, wait. No, I already missed Caroline's request. Dang it. Grape day, you really let me down. All right, there better be some grapes out today. It's raining on the grape day. Absolutely ridiculous. <gasps> grapes! Oh, guys, it was the 13th that was grape day. You guys just always get your numbers wrong chat oh that makes sense he told you it was a 13 team we just weren't listening now we should be able to finish this oh nope i'm an idiot finish that up get some good summer seeds do we have enough money for a coop now Ooh, what's this gonna be an octopus you got your mind man crazy caroline where you at oh there she is we didn't have a single heart with her yet I hate this woman. She's so hard to please. You know what? I should do Cinder Sap Forest first instead of doing the bus stop first because I'm going to have to come back to the bus stop anyway. Oh my God, this clam is still here all that time later. Holy crow. That's so funny. <laughs> guys, should we start our own Grape Day-esque conspiracy like Terraria has it with the Scraggler? All right, guys, just start mass posting in the Stardew Valley subreddit. Just, does anybody remember Grape Day? Guys, what happened to Grape Day? I feel like on Summer 13, I get a lot of grapes. Okay, don't actually do that. Or do, I don't know. What, what are they going to get mad? I don't know. It sounds kind of funny. All right, that 
That should be a lot of money. Let's sell all that. I think that should be enough. What is it? 3,500G, 3,500G. Ooh, nice. We can build a coop now and afford a chicken, I believe. All right, let's get that coop. Oh, wait, I forgot to give it the axe. Free 250G, finessed. A nest. Like, I'm not really focused on tea saplings, but I'll put it as, like, a side objective. You know what I mean? It's like my little side quest that I'm doing. I just want to get money strained out first, and then we can figure out the rest. So once we get money sorted out, like, everything else becomes a lot easier, and our options just become a lot more open. Also, you can pretty much buy everything in this game. And our coop is built! And there's a wall of trees here, so I can't get to it. Awesome. You know, we might even be able to buy two chickens now that I think about it. So is there anything here that we're gonna need? I will take the sandfish. I feel like I should take the flounder. How do you catch a flounder? They're common, right? I'll still grab it. I'm gonna just try and buy as many fish as I can. I don't have to worry about any of them because they all sound terrible. All right, I'm gonna hit up Pierre's, sell all this, then hopefully be able to buy two chickens, which I think is possible. And then we can also gift Caroline. Sort of a win-win scenario. If we have enough room, I could even drop off the fish at the community center and make this a real productive day. 500G wasted. Why is everyone saying 500G wasted? Flounder's not used in any bundles. Oh, really? Whoopsie. <laughs> yep, it's not. Well, that was dumb. <laughs> nice, one heart with Caroline. We could probably buy four chickens now. It's just too easy, chat. Actually, I might go back and buy the snail because I don't think there's really another way to get fishing EXP. Usually the way you do it is with the crab, but I don't really want to get the crab from the mines. Sounds really annoying. So I think I might just go get the snail. Can we make, oh wait, don't go to the traveling cart first. Oh wait, yes, go to the traveling cart first because then I know how much money I have to work with. Duh. Okay, let's buy the snail. I'm thinking about buying the sandfish too, honestly. Screw it. Probably not the smartest decision, but it might be the Shawnee smartest decision, as we know. Buy more flounder. <laughs> All right. All right, what should the brown chicken be named, guys? Probably flounder. That's a good one. Well, I'll let you guys name the white chicken. Okay, grape seems to be the winner. I'll do grape. Okay, guys. Oh, I could buy another one. All right, what should I name this last one? Red. Grape too. Everyone's saying, okay, I'll name it bread. Okay, bread. All right. All right. So the nice thing about having three chickens is this is going to rapidly increase the amount of farming EXP I can get. Because every time you pet a chicken, you get farming EXP. You know what? Today's actually a fine day to pass out. I'm going to clear out these trees. I only have 185 money anyway. So we got to go get hay, guys. Then we can just buy a bunch of cherry bombs, plant some wheat at the beginning of a season, and then get a bunch of hay. That's possible, chat. I mean, technically we can get mining level one just being on the farm. If we need like eight rocks a day, and you need to smash a hundred rocks. I mean, it's possible. And then just buy a bunch of cherry bombs so we can plant wheat. That honestly is not a terrible idea. Seven, eight. We get eight swings of our thing before we pass out. Oh, they already started laying eggs. What? That was so quick. I didn't think they would grow up that fast. Well, you know what? It'll probably be good because it'll also give my chickens time to eat. It's a win-win situation. They seem to be getting out pretty early and eating. Luckily, the, the food is like right there. I want to make sure to pet them every single day. My stuff with Caroline's going down. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> you can't buy cherry bombs. I don't need to buy cherry bombs. I need to buy the materials for cherry bombs. Ooh, coal. Nice. For our cherry bombs. Level one farming pog. Look at all these eggs we're getting. We're just making that money. Here comes the money. Once we get to farming level two, we can make a mayonnaise machine. And then that'll increase our profits even more. Oh, today I have to go foraging. Lucky lunch. Nice. Lever four foraging, baby. Okay, summer speeds are cool. Oh my god, the chickens are pissed, guys. Also, I realized we should probably get some money for these dang chickens in the freaking fall. Or the winter, rather. Because we're gonna need a heater and crud. Oh my god, so much coal today. Have I been a naughty boy? Because I'm getting lots of coal. Isn't Clint gonna charge more for copper and coal next spring? Yeah, I'm gonna buy it in winter. Or he ups his prices. Nice! Okay, finally, we got level one mining. Pog, we don't have to do that crud anymore. Oh, wow, they're making large eggs already. That actually really surprises me. All right, well, now we can go and buy copper and coal to make some cherry bombs to plant some crops. We could plant some wheat, which would prepare us for winter. All right, let's sell all of our forage. And we just need to buy a bunch of copper ore. Oh, I should definitely hit the fair. Then I can get a star drop. All right, we should have enough money for everything we want. Greenhorn, baby! Easy dub. I think I should buy like 100 wheat. We're gonna need extra copper ore as well. Damn, copper ore is expensive, man. If we can just get farming level two, we can get all those mayonnaise machines, and then we can buy all the copper we want, and iron and sprinklers. That would be really nice. Seven cherry bombs. All right, we must be very careful with these, chat. We could start the process over here. Let's place one here, see what happens. It only gives you four? What? Oh my God, I thought it was gonna be way more than that. Really? That's it? Oh no. Are you joking? 
and I just blew up half my wheat like an idiot. Well, that was on me. All right, I'm going to bed. This has angered me greatly. And when is the fair? Because that'll be important too, because I don't want to craft a scarecrow. And also the star drop will be nice. Yes! Sprinklers and mayo machine. All right, how do I make a mayo machine again? It's been so long since I've done this. Wait, you need an earth crystal for this? Didn't think about that. All right, fair day. It's time for the fair. Use eggs in the grand display. That's actually not a terrible idea. I feel like this is a pretty good grand display. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like that's gonna get me like second place maybe in the meantime. Come on, that was so close. Ugh. Mm, still got it. That is so hard and you only get one for it. It was ridiculous. Oh, I can't play the slingshot minigame because I don't have any money. All right, I actually have to really use my resources here carefully. Oh, I got third place. I got 200 star tokens. Okay, we can't squander this away, chat. No funny business this time. Putting 100 on green. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. I'm feeling the nanigans this time, though. Just trust me, chat. Just like I said. The nanigans were coming. I could feel that. Thousand on green. Please do not mess with me here. Oh, baby. All right. First, got to get that rare crow. Second. All right, guys. Star drop time. Wait, why can't I buy it? Oh, my inventory's full. All right. Just throw that over there. Okay. No, no, no. Stop. Why is it so magnetized to me? Okay. I have a strategy. Here we go. Okay. There we go. What the? It just went uh, like halfway. Okay. All right. Stay over there, egg. Stay far over there. Now, I'm going to combine these. No, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Why is there infinite magnetism on vessels? I never knew this. What? Okay. Stay there, egg. Okay, stay. Don't go nowhere. All right, we're gonna have to be swift, chat. <laughs> never knew that happened. Okay. <sighs> okay. Oh, look at that! <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. So the question on everybody's mind, that what will a star drop do? Well, now we have three energy. Eh? Better than nothing. Wow. Might as well water these before I pass out. It's not like my six money is really doing anything about it anyway. Wow, three energy feels so much better than one energy. Makes all the difference. What you got, cart lady? Please tell me all I need is one earth crystal. Dang. Guess we'll just have to keep checking the cart. Oh my god, I ran out of room in my chest. Because of all these stupid eggs. Go give them some lovins. Oh, we can make a second chest. Pog! Just barely. I'll put all of my forage items in there. All right, I gotta go check the uh, cart tomorrow. All right, earth crystal, earth crystal, earth crystal. We really need this earth crystal. No earth crystal. This is so much money that we're sitting on. We just have to sit on it and wait. I should start watering this wheat. It is not gonna grow. Yeah, you guys forgot to eat yesterday. Cry me a river. It's your fault for not going out. Just because I went to sleep, you're like, eh, probably don't need to do that. Farmer didn't wake up. Probably don't need to eat. Come on, we got no rain after I planted these. Can we get one day of rain, please? Oh my god, where's the rain? All right, guys, pray for earth crystal. We got a bank on earth crystal. No! Where's the earth crystal? Are you serious? Am I actually stuck? Okay, no. Thank the Lord. The debris on this farm is getting out of hand. I wanted to get to over to this house, but I don't think it's possible. Oh my God, I hate this so much. <laughs> this farm is terrible. Can I please get around this? No, I literally cannot. I have to go all the way back around. You know what? I'm going to do this tomorrow when I'm waiting for the Spirits Eve Festival to start anyway. Big brain. Unless I can't get to this house. I hate this game so much. Okay, thank you. Can't we not go through town today because it's a Spirits Eve Festival? Am I crazy for thinking that? Right, there's no way around this. And I don't have my axe. Wait, hold on, chat. Okay. Okay. Well, that sucks. I was trying to like scythe out of bounds, but I guess it didn't work. I'm really confused if we can go into town because either that might be really bad because we can't get to our farm. We're kind of like stuck over here for the day. Can we go into town? No, we can't. My sprinklers could be ready by now. But what am I supposed to do with this whole day then? There's nothing I can even do. I can't go to my chickens. I can't go to my farm. I can't do anything. Pick up a chair from one of the cabins. <gasps> That's actually a really good idea. I didn't even think of that. All right. <gasps> Oh my god! Yes! Oh, I'm stuck again. Okay. Well, now I've trapped myself here, so... Um... You know, I didn't think I'd get this far. Well, I'm stuck here now. I'm gonna miss the Spirits Eve Festival! How do I get out of here? What are the spaces I can place this chair? Here? But it won't let me go to it because I keep shaking this tree. Okay, here? Well, let me go to it. Can place it right here, but I can't get within dropping distance of that. Yeah, I just shake that. Oh my god! 
Whose idea was this? Well, oh, this is so stupid. Oh my god, I'm stuck. I got a new plan for Spirit Eve. At least we can check the cart today for an Earth Crystal that it won't have. Rogue got played by a piece of furniture. <laughs> All right, finally. Holy crap. I can't deal with this anymore. It's too hard. I hated that. Every bit of that. All right, earth crystal, earth crystal, earth crystal, earth crystal. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, I'm leaving that stuff in the ground though. So that way it comes spring. I can just place down new crops there. I am going to check the traveling cart on Friday and Sunday. But besides that, I'm just going to sleep till spring. Oh, wait, no, my crops died? No, I thought, the, oh, no, for some reason, I thought their dead corpses would preserve in winter. Oh, no. Damn it, so stupid. Ugh, I don't know why I thought that. I'll have to buy a bunch more freaking stupid cherry bombs now. Does Caroline like eggs? Because I could give her a gold star egg. If that's a liked gift for her, that would still give me a decent amount of points. Oh, wait, no. Lots of people like large eggs, just not Caroline. Caroline's just one of the few foolish people to not like them. All right, I guess I'll just give her the cookies then. It is her birthday, right? Yeah. Maybe combined with our already existing points, liked gift on her birthday will give us enough. Oh no, she's doing the room thing. Is she one of those people who doesn't come out of her room on her birthday? I'm gonna kill you if that's the case, Caroline. I will literally skin you if that is the case. Oh, Abigail, let me in on the way out. Let me in. Yep, yep, just leave the door open. Okay, all right. Yes, please. Please get me to two hearts with you. Yes, it worked. Let's go. Nice. We got the tea saplings, guys. Wait, I don't see the recipe. I think she mails it to you because I definitely don't have it. Why is Jody wheeling George around? It's a weird combo of people. You'll get it mailed tomorrow. Okay, nice. Now that I'm thinking about it more, I think I probably should have done the tea saplings thing from the beginning, but I'll never admit that. I'll never admit it. I'm going to sell all this forge, by the way. A bream! Nice! Oh, that's huge. I'm making progress, guys. Come on, baby. Send me an earth crystal. Send me an earth crystal. Quality sprinkler. A crab? Oh, I need the crab. Okay, we need to go sell stuff to go get the crab. That is our new mission. Operation C-R-A-B. Because I'm not going through the mines and I'm not figuring out crab pots. So one of those two things got to change. The only reason I want this earth crystal is because I wanted to be able to just do a task and just wake up and like pop one in and like get stuff every single day. Just like slowly accumulate income instead of having to like work for it like this every day. All right, I'm gonna go do a community center drop off and then sell everything. The only thing I'm missing is winter root, right? Uh, uh yes, night fishing, bream. Thank you. What's the best way to get a winter root? And then, okay, that was all we needed to drop off. We can sell the rest. Then we can get the crab. Then we can finish the crab pot bundle. That'll be pretty cool. Hey, we're making money moves, baby. Okay, nice. 1500 that's not bad. For one day of foraging, that ain't bad at all. Oh, but I could buy the quality sprinkler, guys. No, I, I already just came all this way. I should just get the crab. All right, sleep pass this day. Then we're checking what the card has tomorrow. Praying to God it is an earth crystal. Please, just give me the earth crystal. I'm being so kind. Okay, I can officially finish the crab pot bundle now, which is awesome. All right, come on. Just give me the earth crystal. I want the crystal so bad. You don't understand, traveling cart woman. You are a cruel woman who will die alone and laugh. Get this puffer fish. They don't get sold in the traveling cart? You're joking. All right, Earth Crystal. Earth Pray for Earth right, Crystal. Earth Crystal. Earth Crystal. Send me an Earth Crystal. Earth crystal. Really so get a bank on Earth crystal. crystal. Why did nobody say anything? What the? This, this whole time I've been looking for... I can't believe this whole time I've been checking the cart for earth crystal. You can't even get an earth crystal from the cart. Bro, I'm just selling all these eggs then. I'm just selling them raw. No mayo machine for me. You guys were purposely withholding this information from me? Oh, come on, bro. All right, well, time to start building out our furnaces, chat. We gotta start building out the sprinklers. We can check the cart in the meantime, though. Bro, I can't believe nobody said anything. I can this whole time I've been checking the cart for no reason. I know. I mean, I need to check the cart either way, so it's not the end of the world. World, but I just kind of wish I had that information before. That would have been nice to have. Whatever, chat! I'm not letting it bog me down at all. I'm gonna go drop some stuff off the community center. Then we're gonna go to Clint's, get all the materials we need for a furnace and a bunch of stuff for sprinklers. I have sprinklers and cherry bombs. And that'll set us for the year. Oh, and I missed the wizard's birthday! Oh my god. I feel like such a goof. Guys, it's it's actually fine. No, I love a challenge, actually, guys. No, I prefer it when it's hard. It's better this way, actually. I'm having so much fun right now. I didn't calculate how many sprinklers I can afford, but I'm hoping to get at least five. Just keep in mind, we have to buy 25 copper also for the furnace. Demetrius, f*** you. I hate that guy. Taunting me. Complete 
ingredients. Okay, so we need 25 copper ore. That's for the furnace. Four sprinklers. I could buy five more copper ore, or I could spend it on the coal that we will also need. So buy that. And I had literally exactly enough to make that work. Wow, that turned out well for me. I would have also loved to try and get the wood from Robin before she boosts her prices in year two for the construction bundle, but that seemed like less and less of a possibility. Okay, so let's get this processing. All right, and then let's go hoeing. <gasps> Winter root, nice. We got it, guys. Another community center drop off. All right, let's put the Nala shell over here and then the winter root in that. Then from the money we get with that, we can buy some more wood for the construction bundle. What's that gonna give me? 800 G, let's go. Wait, I don't have any coal left? I'm an idiot. Okay, one, two, three, four. Putting the rest in wood. 95 wood, that's pretty good. That could be very useful. Yeah, I guess I should actually hoe these spots. I was hoping it's gonna be something a little cooler. <gasps> that was actually so awesome. Oh my God, it never stops. This is the best game ever made. Oh my God, I am in love with this game. And I'll just go out tomorrow, last day of the season. Am I gonna be able to make it over to the other side of my farm? No, okay, but I have an idea. Okay, right there. Go, 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 go. Nice. We should just see if there's anything else we are willing to sell off before the next season starts. Oh, but you can't sell clams on the last day of the season because it's a Sunday and Willie's not open on Sundays. Then off to Pierre's and then off to Clint's because I think the wood will be fine. We can end up being fine with that, but the copper ore will be immediate use of, to us. Willie's open Sundays. He's closed on Saturdays. Oh, really? Oh, sick. Looking for a winter route. Oh, well, that sells for a little bit more than I was going to sell it for. So there you go. Okay, open up, Willie. All right. I don't know what you need this for, Willie, but please use it wisely. 210G. All right, sick. We got 1900, guys. Let's get some copper ore. Let me get three coal. Yep, and then another five copper ore. Then put the rest into coal. Okay, pog. Then go to bed. And then it'll be spring one, baby. Now, like I said, I want to do crops that persist per season, right? Because then otherwise I'm going to have to keep hoeing it over and over again. This way, I'm not going to have to keep hoeing it over and over again. When they die at the end of the season, it'll be fine. Though I guess I could go for more profitable crops and then just put like parsnips there on the last day of the season. That'll probably end up making me more money in the long run. Okay, we got five sprinklers. It only took us a year. So if I place one here, I don't know why this top one didn't go off. That's annoying. But if I have this blow up right here, then... <gasps> Wait, no! It killed my rare crow? Didn't think that was gonna happen. Well, we'll have to restart that. I don't know why that didn't go off correctly. Like, I know why it killed my rare crow. That much I know. Let's hit this. Let's get this here. Boom! Perfect. Okay, that's what I wanted. Then you go here. Yeah, perfect. So we got boom, boom, and then we do the same thing over here, then here, because it'll be the same principle. Don't know why I didn't put one in the center, but not the end of the world. And then you put one here, gets all those four tiles, get one here, gets all those four tiles. Yeah, this is way too complicated. Just waste the tile. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Sean, just get over it. All right, we need to make another field snack, and then we can go buy our crops. We wouldn't have any money, I just realized. Oh, I forgot about that. I don't have any money to buy any crops. All right, well, that's a problem for future Shawnee. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, why I don't have anybody for crops.